on the belly button, and then you're gonna try to pull it back a little bit too. We're gonna to be aiming with our heel, so we're flexing the toes back as we extend, and try to line it up with your shoulder. Straight ahead. Now while you're... Hello, fellow fitness friends. Hello, fellow fitness friends. <laughs> Hello, fellow fitness friends. <laughs> friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nick Duvers and today we are going to be working on some hips, some butt, and of course, some more core, because always. Uh, today's, today's workout is going to consist of three different sections. Uh, we're going to go section by section and finish up with a bit of slow kicks, because that is the best way to work our hips and our butt, is doing the kicks, but super, super slow and carefully to make sure we're hitting from all different angles and our balance too. So if you've never done a slow kick before, or a kick before, or have never done any kind of martial art before, do not fret. I will teach you how to do these techniques, and we're going to be doing them with support on a wall. Uh, if you've done them before, feel free to do them from the floor, uh, but we're focusing on our hips and our butt, so using the wall. It'll help us really squeeze that area as hard as we can. So without further ado, let us begin. We're going to be starting this from a tabletop position and then flipping over onto our back. We're going to do that a couple times. So for the first one, our hands and our knees are going to be under our shoulders and our hips, and we're going to be moving one leg at a time. So we're going to do three reps of everything, but the reps are going to be a little bit longer than usual. So I want you to extend your left leg. We're going to start by raising it three times. One, two, three. On number four, we're going to breathe in and reach. Squeeze that back and butt and breathe out. I want you to suck your stomach up and then crunch your abs as hard as you can. Put the hand back down and again, one, two, three, reach, breathe in and breathe out as hard as you can. Good, one more time, put that hand down, one, two, three, reach and squeeze that stomach. Beautiful. Now, if we're using our left leg, we're going to keep using it on our back and we're going to be crunching with our leg as well. So I want your arms to be straight, and we're not going to stop until we get our fingertips to the floor. Feel free to bend your knee as much as you need, but make sure you're keeping your foot flexed. So breathing in, breathe out one. Come down a little slower, breathe in. Two. One more time, breathe in. And three, squeeze it, hold it, and relax. Because we are kicking later, we're gonna add a little stretch after each second too. So I want you to grab the inside of your foot, lie down, and just push that knee down into the kick. Two, and let's flip back up onto our hands and knees. Time for the other side. So down into our table, lifting up the leg, heel up. One, two, three. Reach, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze that stomach. And number two, one, two, Three, breathe in, and breathe out. Should I cross the elbow and knee underneath? One more time. One, two, three, breathe in, and breathe out. Squeeze that stomach. Beautiful. All right, one leg V sit. Arms are straight, no bend between the elbow. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathe in, and two, squeeze. One more time, breathe in, three, and come down slow, bend the knee, and push down with the foot. So when we stand up, we're gonna be working on our side kick. We're gonna do three per side, and then we'll come back down for some more hips, butt, and abs. All right, so standing up. We started with our left leg. Let's use that left leg again. Okay, so we're gonna be working on a slow side kick to finish off our set for our butt, or our set number one. Uh, and we're gonna go through step by step to make sure that we can master this technique or start mastering it because it will come in handy for other workouts that we're gonna be doing later. And we're gonna be using a bar here, but feel free at home if you wanna use a wall. If you've done it before, you can even do it without the bar and balance on your supporting leg. So, so many options working on this kick. But for today, the foot that's on the ground, our planting leg, we're gonna give it a little pivot, so we're gonna turn it to point behind us. Doesn't need to be directly behind us, but on an angle will suffice. So, front knee is gonna come up in front of the belly button, and then you're gonna to try to pull it back a little bit too. We're gonna to be aiming with our heel, so we're flexing the toes back as we extend, and try to line it up with your shoulder. Straight 
we're gonna have. Now while you're holding it, it's a good idea to try to crunch yourself up higher to really hit those obliques as hard as you can. Pull it back and step it down. Okay, two more times. Knee comes up and extend. Flex those toes back. Pull the knee back, down. Good, I'm staying relatively close to the wall. That's also gonna make it harder for my core. And extend. And down. All right, time for leg number two. Now the height on this isn't the most important thing. The most important is a nice full extension on your kick. So we're gonna hit all every little muscle group through our legs and our hips and really squeeze that butt when we extend our kick. So then it comes up and extend that heel. Back, down, good. Two more times, knee up, reach. Back, down, good. One more time, pick that knee up as high as you can and then reach it and pull it back. Give those legs a little shake. You did it. So after our slow kicks, our side kicks, and our V-sits, we're gonna work the outside of our butt and our hips a little bit more this time. So we're gonna be lifting our knee up to the side. It's important for you guys to remember, we wanna stimulate that joint in that area here in our hip. So if you find that you're bending your opposite elbow to get it higher, try to keep it straight and just work that hip to its fullest range without using any other part. So engaging our whole body here, we're gonna breathe in one, come down, two, down, three, on number four, we're gonna lift the opposite arm up, breathe in, and cross underneath, suck that stomach up, and squeeze. Okay, two more times, plant the hand. One, two, three, and breathe in big, squeeze underneath, and one more time. One, two, three, and lift, and squeeze. Beautiful. So if we use the left leg for this one, we're going to keep our left leg on top and we're going to bring both of our knees to one shoulder and we're going to finish with a little bit of an extension to make it just a little bit harder. So my hands are down, keep your back straight or as high up as you can. Keep your feet flexed and your feet as high as your knees. You're going to breathe in, breathe out, squeeze one, reach out, breathe in, two, number three, breathe in. Squeeze, hold, and then we're gonna extend. Keep those knees where they are. Four, three, two, one, and let's do a little stretch. Grab that left knee, lie down, and pull it across your body, and look the other way. And back up to the top. All right, time for the other side. So let's switch direction so you can see this a little bit better. All right, our right knee, we're gonna lift up. One, two, three, on number four, opposite elbow up, and breathe out, cross them underneath, squeeze that stomach, and two more. One, two, three, breathe in, and under, one more time. One, two, three, breathe in, lift high, and cross, and perfect, good. Back on our butts, and our knees are going to the other shoulder now. So, from here, breathing in, breathe out, oops, breathe out, breathe in, out. One more time, keep those feet flexed, breathe in, breathe out, hold, and extend. Four, three, two, one, and down. Good, let's stretch it out, take your top leg, bend it, and pull it over and across. Our side kick is working our, well, of course, our butt, our core, our obliques. Round of stick is gonna be getting a little more in the hip flexor and the outer butt. So our, our knee positioning will be slightly different here. But the, bar, the ground foot is pivoted, maybe not quite as much as a side kick, but we need to have that pivot for balance and support and for hip position. So the way I build my round on stick is I take my heel to my butt, nice generous bend here, and then I'm gonna raise my knee like a chicken wing up here. I'm pointing my toes, I'm extending with the foot flexed forwards. I bend my knee, I bring it back down. Okay, number two, heel to butt, knee comes up and extend. 
down one more time. Punch that knee up. One of the toes reach. And, and bring it down. Time for side number two. Now you're gonna notice that one side is significantly easier than the other, and that's totally okay. But doing these over time, you will find that that will balance out as we practice. So heel to butt, knee comes up, and extend. Back, down, good. Heel, knee, reach. Bend, down, one more time, ready, crunch. Reach, bend, and down. Give it like a well-deserved shake. You did it. All right, time for set number two. And the awesome thing about a second set is we can use the first one to work out any kinks. Uh, we can figure out the mechanics of the movements and how to optimize that squeeze through our abs and our butt and our hips. So without further ado, let's get started. So hands back on the ground, back to the left leg, lifting up one. Two, three, breathe in bigger, and breathe out harder, squeeze, and again, lift, one, two, three, breathe in, and breathe out, I love that stretch, one more time, one, two, three, big breath, and huge breath out, beautiful, all right, back onto our butts. Straighten up those legs, straighten up the arms, breathing in, breathe out, one, breathing in, two, one more time, breathe in, get that forehead right to your knee, three, and roll it back down, give it a little stretch, uh, and time for the right leg, back to the ground, and lift up, one, two, Reach and squeeze. And again, one, two, three, breathe in and try to roll that back as you crunch your stomach. One more time. One, two, three, reach. Suck that belly button and breathe out. And back down to the floor. Right leg. Breathing in, breathing out, forehead to knee. Roll it down. Two. One more time. Roll it. Keep that leg engaged. And three. Foot is flexed. And roll back down. Grab it. Pull it down. Catch your breath. And back up to the top. Okay. Now we're back on the wall for our set number two of slow kicks. As we get loose and warm, these should feel a little bit easier to do. Uh, and as they feel easier, you can just squeeze it even harder and harder. So our foot is turned as before. Our knee comes up as high as we can, keeping our back straight. Extend that heel. Pull that knee back, step it down. Don't worry about the height here, guys. Raise the knee. Extend. The most important part is our technique and our extension to make sure we're getting a nice full range of motion. One more time, pick that knee up and extend it out. Nice, pull it back, step it down. Awesome, time for our leg number two. Pivot that ground foot, pick up the knee, and extend the heel. Pull it back, step it down. Get two more times, knee up, and extend. Step it down. Last side kick of the day. Pick up the knee, reach it, squeeze, crunch the shoulders if possible. Pull it back and step it down. Beautiful. Let's get back to the ground. Work the outside a little bit more. All right, outer butt time. Hands on the floor. Try to keep that same bend through the knee about a 90 degree here. And make sure that leg stays engaged. Lifting up. One, two, three. Lift the arm and cross it under. Good. And again, one. Don't let that foot lag, your knee lag. Three. Keep them all level. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more time. Up. Two. Three. Breathing in. Breathing out. And good. All right, time for the abs. So remember the top leg is going to the opposite shoulder for this. So 
So sitting back on our hands, our feet are flexed, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, little crunch with that top shoulder. One more time, breathe in, breathe out, pull that stomach away from your thighs and extend. Four, three, two, one, and lay back down. Nice twist. Ah, oh, this feels fantastic. And let's finish up. Last round, last set of our planks. Lifting the knee to the side. One, two, three. Raise the elbow, breathe in, look up, breathe out, look down, roll that back. And again, one, two, three. Last one, ready? One, two, three. Breathing in, breathing out, squeezing hard, and then down. Good, so top leg going to opposite shoulder. Let's flip over here. So our right knee to our left shoulder, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, hold. Extend four, three, two, one, and lower it down. All right, stretch your back. Got the knee, pull it over. Straighten that arm, stretch up that side of your body. And done. Time for slow kicks. All right, so we just finished our abs and our hips and our butt. Second set on the floor. Time to finish up with our slow kicks, our slow round those kicks. So remember, heel comes to butt, knee lifts up, chicken wing, and extend, point the toes. Bring that heel back, step it back down. Okay, knee up, or heel up, knee up, extend. Heel, knee, down, one more time. Heel, knee, reach, hold it, last one on the side, two, one, pull it back, and step it down. Shake that leg out. All right, let's finish up. Last one of the day. Turn that supporting leg. Heel to your butt. Lift that knee. Extend. Fight it, guys. Hold. Back. Down. Good. Heel. Knee. And reach. Back. Down. Last one. We're going to squeeze that heel up. Squeeze the knee up. Reach it out. Four. Three. Two. And down, beautiful. Jelly, jelly legs. Great job today, guys, you did awesome. If you like that workout, want to see some more, give us a like at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're posting new videos every Friday, and we'll see you next week. Share with your friends.